Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Gillian Doyle and I'm a clinical psychologist working in perinatal mental health in the Rotunda Hospital of Dublin. I am very aware that this is an unusual and scary time for all of us and that COVID-19 has turned the world on its head. For those of you who are going through pregnancy at the moment, you are being asked to cope with lots of changes on top of the multiple physical and psychological changes that come with pregnancy and this can feel overwhelming. It can also feel lonely to not be able to see people, to not have the face-to-face -face support and wisdom of the people you love. I want to acknowledge this and I want to reach out to you in some small way so that you can add a tool to your mental health toolbox and hopefully fill your cup with some support and nourishment. So, you're going to have a baby. No doubt you're having lots of emotions about this, some pleasant and others more challenging. And people come to pregnancy in lots of different ways and react uniquely to the experience of being pregnant. No matter what the circumstances of your pregnancy, this time in your life is like nothing else. It will be filled with intense emotions and intense sensations. It is also a time when you will be asked to readjust who you are so that you can become a mom with the ability to look after, protect and nourish the little person that you are bringing into this world. These short videos will hopefully provide you with some useful information and exercises that you can do either by yourself, with your partner or a support person or with a healthcare provider. I hope that they will help you tune into yourself and into your baby in a way that helps you feel connected and that gives you a sense of control and empowerment over what lies ahead. So before we get started, I wanted to acknowledge that there are lots of different types of families. So in these videos, I will be using the term mom. However, in some situations, the primary caregiver won't identify as mom. And I hope if you don't identify as mom, um, or with this term, um, or you're not going through pregnancy, but you are preparing for parenthood, you will alter and use these exercises in a way that feels right for you. So in today's session, we will focus on tuning into your baby. Of course, when baby arrives, you will have no option but to tune into their needs. Um, they'll let you know very clearly, uh, but it's no harm to get a head start. So it's likely that you've began to prepare your home for baby's arrival. You may have bought a cot, you may be getting your nursery ready. People may have started to give you things like clothes or toys. Um, and you might even be one of those people who has an Excel sheet prepared with everything you need for the next year or two. So it is equally important to prepare your mind for baby and to prepare yourself for the unfolding of a new part of your identity, that of mother. So we know that a good relationship is protective for both mum's mental health and baby's mental health. When we think of the relationship between a mum or a primary caregiver and their infant, we often use the term attachment. And when I say a good relationship, what I am referring to is a relationship which helps the baby feel safe, cared for, comforted, and allows room for them to have emotions, including big or hard to manage emotions, and to have their emotional needs met. And this sort of attachment has lots of benefits for mum too. So it will give her a sense of confidence or a sense of mastery over the new skills she's learning. And it will also allow her to feel delight and joy in her baby. Um, it will also allow her to feel that both she and her baby can weather the difficult times together. So, for some mums, this bond will be felt from the moment they meet their baby. So we hear this term, the love bubble. While for others, it will take a little bit longer to develop. 
Um, during your pregnancy, if you take some time to start tuning into your developing baby, it's a really good way to lay the foundations of this attachment bond even before you meet them. So from the point of conception to birth, your baby is going to go through so much change and development. Um, and some of you may have already downloaded some baby apps, um, but I would suggest doing that because they send you weekly updates about your baby. So they tell you what size your baby is and they'll often give you a real life comparison, like tell you what piece of fruit or what vegetable your baby now resembles and what parts of their body or their brain is developing. And that can be really good information for you or your partner um, to assist you in tuning in to your baby. Um, some of you will have had a scan already and that's also really helpful to begin visualizing what baby looks like and to start really thinking about baby being a reality um, rather than you know something that's that's in your head. So today we're going to take a few minutes to think about your baby and to tune into them as they are now and as you imagine them being in the future. Uh, we're going to do a short visualization exercise. So I would suggest that you find somewhere comfortable, uh, maybe a sofa or a chair or lie on your bed and just take a few minutes of rest for yourself. Um, I'm going to lead you through the exercise. If you feel comfortable, please close your eyes. If you don't feel comfortable closing your eyes, I would suggest you have a heavy lidded gaze and just allow your eyes to focus on one spot. So when you're ready, when you're feeling comfortable, just begin to tune into your breath. So noticing your in-breath, and your out breath. Sometimes it can be helpful to notice the temperature of the in breath, which can be cool, and the temperature of the warmed out breath. Try not to put any pressure on yourself to breathe in any type of way. We're just breathing. If it feels comfortable to do so, perhaps you could try and elongate the exhale or the out breath. And if there are noises coming in from outside, that's okay, just let them come in, let them go. If it feels comfortable to do so, you could place a hand on your bump or your two hands on your bump, whichever feels good for you or your body. And keeping your eyes closed, I want you to visualize your hand. So visualizing your hand on your bump. Perhaps initially just noticing the outline of your hand, the shape of it as it rests on your bump. And then visualize what your hand looks like. Perhaps you wear a ring. Maybe you've nail varnish on. Maybe you have a tattoo on your hand. Perhaps you have marks or scars from the past. Just tuning in to what the upper side of your hand looks like. And now visualize what the underside of your hand looks like. The lines and marks. And now notice where on your bump your hand is. 
Did your hand automatically go to a place on your bump where baby moves? Or perhaps baby isn't moving just yet? Or maybe you're someone who has um, a placenta where you can't feel baby's movement as strongly. And that's okay. Just notice bump against hand and hand against bump. And then whenever you feel ready, bring your attention inside. So this mindful attention, this mindful imagination, we're going to move it now inside of your womb. And just take a moment. Once you feel that your imagination has landed inside the womb, I would ask you to look around. What can you see? Perhaps you can notice colors. Perhaps you notice structures of your body. Try to look around with the eyes of a baby. So without judging or labeling, just looking. And now tune into what you can hear. So perhaps you notice that the sounds of the outside world are very muffled in this space. But perhaps there are other sounds which are louder, like your heartbeat. Or your breath. or the whooshing of blood around your body. And then when you're ready, tune your attention into what you can feel here. So what is the temperature of this space? this temporary home that you've created for your baby. Perhaps you can notice what it feels like to be cocooned in water, like a warm bath. And when you're ready, turn your mother's gaze towards your developing baby. This being that is developing month by month, week by week, day by day, even hour by hour. Just taking them in as they are now in this moment. And perhaps there's something you would like to say to them. If that's the case, you can whisper it to them now. Perhaps you don't have anything to say in this moment. It's okay too. Your presence is enough. Taking a few more breaths here. And 
And then when you're ready, begin to move your mindful attention back outside of the womb, back to your hand against the bump, your bump against your hand. Just resting the attention there, begin to tune into your environment. Just notice, can you hear anything? Can you sense any pressure from where you're sitting or lying? And when you're ready, gently open your eyes and just take a moment to look around your surroundings. No rush. Simply coming back to the present moment. Well done, everyone. So we're now going to try and tune in in a different way um, using a worksheet I've created um, and that you'll be able to find here. Um, or you can just think you don't actually need to fill anything out. Uh, if you would like to jot down a few pointers for yourself, um, maybe you could get a piece of paper um, and a pen, uh, or as I said, use the worksheet here. We're just going to take a few minutes to think about your baby um, and to think through some questions uh, that will hopefully help you feel connected and help you visualize um, what is to come. Um, if you're struggling at the moment and you're working with someone, the answers to these questions might be helpful information for you to bring uh, to a therapy session so that you can discuss them in more detail. So the first question or set of questions um, are about imagining your child. So have you begun to imagine your child um, or your baby after they're born, when they're a few months old? Are there any traits or characteristics that come to mind when you think of your baby or your babies if you're having multiples and how they will be a year from now or a few years from now? The next question or set of questions um, is about imagining something that you would like to do with your baby or your child in the future. So perhaps there's something that's very close to your heart or that you're very passionate about that you would hope to share with your child in the future. So just tuning into that. And then asking yourself, what would it mean to you to be able to share this experience with your baby? Now I'm going to ask you to try to imagine doing something for your baby. So whether that's feeding or changing or bathing him or her. So just taking a few minutes to actually go through that activity in your mind step by step. For some of you, these might be activities that you're very familiar with. And for some people, you may never have done some of these activities before. So just what do you notice as you're imagining doing this activity? And do any emotions come up as you imagine it? Our next set of questions is about including your baby in your daily activities. 
So is this something that you're doing at the moment? For example, do you play music to your baby? Do you massage your bump? Do you include them? You know, if you're doing something, do you let them know what, what you're doing, where you're going? Do you talk to other people about your baby? And how do you imagine your baby reacts if you are doing this? If it's something that you're not doing at the minute, is there an activity that you can include your baby in on a daily basis? So even just taking five minutes to put your hand on your bump as you do something um, or to explain something to baby, just taking that time. So please take your time answering the questions. There's no pressure with them. It's just for you. And again, it's an exercise around beginning to lay the foundations of this relationship between you and your baby, this back and forth that will grow and develop over time. Um, this session today is about giving yourself some headspace to think about what is to come and to prepare yourself for the wonders and the challenges that lie ahead. And there's no wrong answers here. So I'd like to leave you with some practical tips that you can use to tune into your baby. Um, and so just pick and choose the one that suits you or some of them might suit you um, or you might alter them um, so that they work for you. Um, you could try talking and singing to your baby, uh, knowing that he or she can hear you, particularly from the second trimester on. You can try gently touching and rubbing your belly or massaging it or getting someone else to do that for you. Um, you can respond to your baby's kicks, um, particularly in the third trimester. Uh, you could try and gently push against the baby or rub your belly where the kick occurred and just see if there's a response. Um, you can play music to your baby. Maybe you have some songs that you really like that you'd like to share with baby. You can set aside some time to reflect. Um, so maybe going for a walk or having a warm bath and just thinking about your baby, maybe doing some plans. You may like to write a diary um, or write some stories for the baby about what you're experiencing at different times. Some parents might like to start a baby journal or a vision board uh, where you can identify your hopes and dreams for your baby and for the future. And if you are going to do this, try to focus on goals that you can work towards. Um, so I suppose you want to help your child develop at their own pace. Um, so I would love you to have some special time with baby uh, rather than goals which may leave you feeling that you're not good enough if they don't come to pass. Um, so for example, I want my baby to walk or talk early and I will spend time every day doing X, Y and Z to help them achieve this. So just to ensure that the goals are goals that are caring and compassionate and nurturing rather than really, you know, goal or achievement focused. Um, you could draw, paint or make something that symbolizes your baby and allow yourself to have fun and be creative. This isn't about producing a work of art, it's just about a means of self-expression. So I hope those practical tips, that one or two of them, might be something that you would try going forward. So that's the end of today's video. Um, during the next video, I'm going to talk about changes and transitions in roles and to help you tune into how you experience change. Uh, I hope that you can join me again. Thank you.